Right, I'll just start a new video of me preaching that. I don't want to interrupt Stephen, he's just praying for, for that lovely lady that came up to us in the last video. Um, I'm going to have to keep it this way actually because a man keeps coming out of that shop. I think he's bothered about the noise, but anyway, here we go. Thank you very much. My sister in Christ, my brother in Christ, thank you very much. Thank you for blessing us. Who wants to be saved with everlasting life? Who wants to go to heaven and not down to hell? We've come to tell you the way for you to be saved. We've come here to tell you how simple it is for you to be saved. We're not talking about being religious or even going to church every Sunday. We are talking about the gospel of Jesus Christ. The way that, the only way, the only name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ, we've come to tell you that he loves you. He's given you free will. He's given you a choice. You can accept God or you can reject him and only find out how real hell is when you land there. And that's why we're here to tell you the way to be saved. Because God loves you. We love you. We don't want one of you to end up in hell utterly consumed with terrors in outer darkness like the Bible says. No, we want you to enter into heaven. And we want, we've come here to tell you how simple it is for you to enter into heaven. If you will, but be humble and recognize that the Bible is true. The word of God, it tells us that we have all sinned. It tells us that we, have, we all come short of the glory of God. And that the wages or the penalty of sin is death. But the free gift of God, which God wants to give everyone, no matter who you are, no matter what you're doing, no matter what you've done, is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. This is available for you. There's an open door to the kingdom of God for every single one of you. And we are living in the final moments of the end of this age. And we urge you not to hesitate, not to think twice about it, but just get on board the ark of salvation, which is Jesus Christ. By doing one thing, you don't have to do anything except believe on the one who did everything. Jesus Christ, who died on that cross for you, for me, for all our sins according to the scriptures. And he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures. And God is just looking at your hearts. Will you believe that? If you believe it, you know it's true, then you are justified before the God of the whole earth. And the moment you call upon Jesus, you are saved, sealed, sanctified, and justified with everlasting life. You have a one-way ticket to heaven. You'll never lose your salvation because God seals you. You become born again, born of God. A child of God. Your name is written in heaven. Your name is written in the book of life. The moment you believe on Jesus Christ and what his sacrifice, what he did for us on that cross. That's all he's asking you to do is believe that. That's the only requirement for you to be saved with everlasting life. Once you're saved, there's nothing you need to do to keep yourself saved. The Lord keeps you saved with his spirit because he seals you with his Holy Spirit the moment you believe. But if you believe not, then you're condemned and you'll be damned to the lake of fire forever and ever. And we don't want that. That's why we're here. God doesn't want it. That's why he's appointed us to preach the gospel on the streets. Because we know the will of God, and that is that all should be saved and none should perish. That's the will of God. And we've come to tell you this, that God loves you, but time is short. We've come here to tell you, please, we're urging you to accept the Lord Jesus Christ and what he did for us on that cross. How that Jesus paid the penalty in full on the cross for all our sin. That means your lifetime of sin. And he was buried and he rose again from the dead on the third day according to the scriptures just believe that in your heart have some faith believe the truth and call upon Jesus say come into my life Lord Jesus and he will and you'll be saved sealed and justified and sanctified with everlasting life but like I said I wouldn't hesitate if I was you are you guaranteed your next breath? Are you guaranteed to wake up tomorrow? The answer is no. And when you draw your last breath, you go into eternity, either to heaven, the most beautiful place you can't even imagine. The Bible says that you can't even imagine it in your heart how beautiful it is in paradise for those that love the Lord God. But the alternative is hell, out of darkness, where people are weeping and wailing, 
where those gnashing of teeth, where the worm never dies and the fire never goes out in outer darkness, utterly consumed with terrors. This is why we're here, because it's important. This is your eternal security we're talking about. Get real people, just have some faith. Be honest enough to say, of course I have sinned. Who hasn't sinned? Come on. Like the Bible says, we've all sinned and we all come short of the glory of God. And that the wages, the penalty of sin is death. But the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Jesus paid the penalty. He paid that penalty on the cross for you, for the sins of the whole world, for whoever calls upon him, whoever believes on him. If you believe that Jesus died on that cross for you, that he shed his blood on that cross for you, and that he was buried and rose again from the dead, you will be saved. Just like that. The moment you believe, God knows your heart. He will justify you. The moment you believe the true testimony of the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Because there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man is going to make it to heaven but through the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, I am the door. By me, if any man shall enter in, he will be saved. He'll go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, the devil, the God of this age. He comes to steal and kill and destroy. And he's doing a good job, unfortunately. But Jesus Christ is come that we might have life. That we might have it more abundantly, even everlasting life. This is available to anybody and everybody who believes. But he who believes not, like I said, he'll be condemned to hell forever and ever. If you don't believe on the Son of God. This is the truth. We're not threatening you. We're telling you how it is. Because we know that time is short. So we're just telling you straight, straight from the Bible. How God wants all to be saved. How that all can be saved. How that God loves you. How that there's an open door for each and every one of you. If you will but believe the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. You need saving. You need forgiveness. Because the Bible is true. It's the whole holy word of God. It tells us that we have all sinned. It tells us that we all come short of the glory of God. Come on, be humble, be realistic, recognize, yes, of course, I've, of course I have sinned. Everybody's lied, for starters. That's just one. Most of us have committed sexual fornication. Come on, be honest. Just be humble enough to say, yes, of course, of course I have sinned. We've all sinned, and we all come short of the glory of God. I'm the chief sinner. Look, I'm the chief sinner. I know. I'm an, I know I'm a sinner, but I'm a saved sinner. Because I believe the gospel, the truth of the Lord Jesus Christ. I believe that Jesus, yes, I believe that he died on that cross for me. That he shed his blood on that cross for me. I knew it in my heart that he rose again from the dead. And I called upon him. I said, come into my life, Lord Jesus. And he did, and he saved me. And he sealed me with Holy Spirit of promise. And God doesn't go back on his promises. God bless you, Leeds. Lay hold of that salvation and eternal security by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. Accept the Lord today. Today is the acceptable day of salvation. Right, I'm just going to stop this one and try and keep them a bit shorter. Look at you guys. I'm really on fire today. I really. Oh, Steve got something to say. Let's have a look. Hello, Stephen. Hey, yeah, brothers. This is sorry, I, I left my Bible in where we was really yeah. eating. Didn't I, 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 told, so. I told them. Yeah, I've got it back anyway. Thank I God knew you'd get it back when I prayed. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. it back. And a uh, pilot gave me this. So, good King James Bible, which I'll uh, recommend to anyone, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It always puts something on the screen to try to distract me. You know. Yeah. It says recording will be stopped and saved when you answer a call. Well. I don't know why that's there, it's just to try and distract, but it's not going to distract me away. No, 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 no I'm no. clearly focused today. Yeah, right, right, God bless right. you guys. Thank you for your prayers. Flipping heck, I'm so grateful. Thank you.